to cash in on the luxury SUV slash coupe segment currently dominated by rivals BMW and Mercedes-Benz, Audi has revealed the Q8 concept. Portending a future production Q8 that will come to market in 2018, the Bombay Blue crossover show car portrays the greatest evolution of Audi's current design language in years, with a gaping maw that makes it look like no other vehicle currently produced by the German brand, as well as frameless windows to give it more of a proper four-door coupe feel. Dimensionally, the Q8 concept is very much a chopped Audi Q7. Sitting on a wheelbase just 0.3 inch shorter than that of the Q7, the four-passenger Q8 concept's 198.0 inch overall length and 67.2 inch height falls short of its three-euro counterpart by 1.6 and 1.3 inches, respectively. However, the concept's broad hips result in an additional 2.9 inches of width compared with the Q7. Audi chose to emphasize the Q8 concept's breadth by implementing a full-length taillight design and 1980s Quattro-inspired design cues such as flared fenders at all four wheels. A wide, braked C-pillar and additional intakes atop the concept's 8-point grille further tie the crossover's design to that of the classic Audi rally car. The Q8 concept is more than just preview a new Audi model, though. Inside, Passengers are greeted to a barrage of touchscreens, which Audi says portend a system coming to the new A8. Nevertheless, we hope the brand's flagship sedan refrains from the Q8 concept screen overload. While Audi didn't provide much in the way of interior dimensions, the company claims the crossover maintains ample headroom for rear passengers despite its sleeker row offline. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for cargo volume, which, at 22 cubic feet, is 16 cubic feet less than the Q7 efforts behind its second row, not to mention 5 cubic feet less than the similarly sized and styled BMW X6. Underhood sits a 333 horsepower turbocharged 3.0 liter V6 and a 134 horsepower motor integrated within the crossover's 8 speed automatic transmission. Together, the hybrid powertrain makes a total of approximately 443 horsepower and 516 pounds foot of torque, enough of to push the crossover from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds and on to a governed top speed of 155 miles per hour. Meanwhile, a rear-mounted lithium-ion battery pack is good for 37 miles of all-electric driving range and can be charged in approximately two and a half hours when plugged into a 240-volt. 30 amp outlet. Amazingly, Audi refrained from adding any noteworthy self-driving tech to the car. Still, we are told the production Q8 likely will offer such features, as the crossover's front end is designed to accommodate the technology behind its grille and bumper cover. When the Q8 eventually makes its way to market at the end of the year, expect the low-slung crossover coupe to include a smorgasbord of powertrain options, including a V6, a V8, a gasoline-electric hybrid e-tron model, and possibly even an RSQ8 with a 500-plus HP twin-turbocharged V8. Consumers across the pond are also bound to see a handful of diesel options. However, we are not counting on Audi equipping US-bound Q8 Model S with this engine option. No matter the powertrain, though, expect the Q8 to sport a premium of at least $5,000 to $10,000 over the Q7. We'll know more later in the year, when Audi is expected to formally reveal the production Q8.